Hey guys, on this video I'm going to explain the process of creating this design. It will be a tutorial slash breakdown video showing the main techniques in Adobe Photoshop. The project PSD file will be available through the link on the description as well as on my Patreon page with all the other project files for my videos. By the way, thanks for the support on Patreon, it is a huge help to continue creating content and in the next few weeks I will try to upload all the remaining working files from my previous videos so they will be available there for free included in the membership. To start the design I will create a new document in Photoshop, 10,000 by 6,000 pixels. It is quite large but in case of cropping later. I will use the mixer brush tool to create one of the words, so I will add a blue color on the background because I need to use it with the mixer brush tool. Then I will add a colorful image also for the mixer and I will take the mixer brush tool which is located where the brush tool is. If you can't see it, just click and hold till you see the extra tools. Then if needed, I will change the settings for the mixer on the top bar. This way you can increase the levels of hardness or control how much color will load from the blue background, etc. In my case, I had changed the settings earlier so I will keep them as they are. I will load the brush with the part from the image I think will work best and I will create the letters. It is better to create each line of the letter in separate layer to help later with the shadows and details. I will forward this part now as it takes some time but if you need a more specific tutorial for this process, I check the video links I left in the description. Now I can change the background to a dark color for some more contrast and adjust the letters a bit. Next I want to add some text using the type tool. So there will be the words game over behind and in front the word not with hashtag. Try several fonts to find the one that looks best. Next I will add some masks on each save to hide some parts and create some depth on the design. Then I will create a clipping mask on the white text and draw some shadows with a brush tool manually. I will do the same with clipping mask on each shape of the green letters to create shadows there as well. You can use the selection tool or even make selections using the pen tool for more precise saves for shadows. Create new clipping masks to add highlights with the same method but using white color this time. Now I will add some more shadows on the white letters to create some more contrast. You can even use darker shades of the blue and green color. Next, use the pen tool to create paths and add strokes for extra details.
then select the shape of the white text and add strokes in several colors or even gradient filling. Move them slightly to separate them from the shape of the letters. On the white text I will also add some abstract shapes using the brush tool and create some harder shadows using the shapes of the green letters. Now I will create some bubble shapes using the selection tool and a white smooth brush to draw inside the selections some reflections and signs for the bubbles. You can also use colors from the shades of the letters to match. Then make copies of these shapes and adjust the new copies by changing the size, the shape or even the colors to make them look different. In order to adjust the shape, click Command or Ctrl T and the Warburg button to make them adjustable. Next, I will add some extra signs and highlights on the green letters using the gradient tool and then distort the gradient by pressing Command or Ctrl T. Also, I will change the color mode to Dodge Color to make the signs brighter. I will also create shadows for the bubbles by selecting them and fill the selection with black color in a new layer. Then I will make sure I have the new layer under the bubbles and move slightly in order to be visible. Next, make a square selection around the design and add some fadings on some parts with a brush tool. To finalize the design, I will add a background using an image I found on pexels.com but I will add a black layer on top and just make the new image visible on some parts because I want to keep the background very dark. Then you can also add any adjustment layers like the curves to adjust the contrast if needed but that was it. I didn't go through all the details of each effect as there are many videos on my channel showing these techniques but in case you'd like to check them I will add the links on the description. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see next and don't forget to subscribe on my channel for more videos.